YouTube, how you doing my people? It's your boy again, Mr. Jamini with another video. And so guys, today I'm an, under this viaduct, the Sunza viaduct. So this is one, uh, one of its own kind here in Mombasa. So it is part of the Dingokundu Bypass Phase 2. Yeah, so guys, um, basically a viaduct is, a, is like a bridge. It's an elevation uh, not that far from the ground, as you can see. It's not that far from the ground. So it's, it's just like a bridge, but not that high. So, the main reason, reason I store this viaduct was constructed is, uh, you know this place, sometimes water fills up to this end when the currents are high. And you know this area is a, is a peninsula, so sometimes water currents are high, water fills up to this. Yeah, so guys, this is how the viaduct is looking like. And by the way, it is uh, close to 700 meters long. So 700 meters long, uh, that's 0.7 kilometers. Yeah, so guys, I'm just going to take you through so that you can see how it is basically looking like. So the build quality is uh, good. You know, the, the people who constructed it are the Japanese and you all know that Japanese are really good in building such infrastructure. So that is the beginning from that point. That point, that is where Mwache Bridge is. Yeah, so let me just flip my camera and show you how this massive infrastructure is looking like. So as I was saying, this place is a, a peninsula and the contractors were forced to come up with, a, with something like uh, raising up this place. You see, they raised up this place because uh, they feared that uh, maybe when the ocean currents are high, water could uh, overflow over the road that was to be constructed here. Yeah, so they came up with the this uh, viaduct. You see, this old place is when water is, uh, when the car is high, water normally fills at the whole of this place. I wish I came when uh, the water was here so that you could see. And so, as I say, this viaduct is one of its kind. And uh, it it is uh, on it is on one of the most expensive road, if not the most expensive road here in Mombasa, and uh, it is a uh, passing through Sunza, 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 Sunza. So you can see everything is installed, even lights, those are solar lights installed, and. Uh, In a few weeks, maybe a month or so, we are going to use this road. We are told three weeks, but I don't think so. Yeah, so this is how beautiful this place is. So this is what I was saying.
So in the morning water will had filled up to this place. This infrastructure is awesome, one of its kind. Yeah, it's part of the Dunkundu Bypass Phase 2. And uh, these are some of the things that made it to be really expensive, you know, costing close to 2.7 billion per kilometer, only less than 10 kilometers. You know, like racing up these. Uh, Racing these viaducts and bridges requires a lot of skills and workmanship and the cost, labor. So these are the things that made this thing to be expensive. Yeah, so even the road I'm walking on was raised just to prevent water from overflowing. Yeah, so guys, this viaduct is just like, a, see how long it is. So it is just like a few meters from Macha Bridge. So it is Macha Bridge, then you walk like 200 meters, then you connect to Sunza Viaduct. That is like a 800, uh, 700 meters. Then after Sunza Viaduct, you go now to the main road. So this way it's ending guys and uh, I'm just going to show you the updates of uh, this Dungkundu Bypass Phase 2. We were told that in the next two to three weeks it will be done and dusted so let's go and see. Only bicycles and pedestrians are allowed here. Yeah. 